Uh, a few weeks ago, I found myself sitting next to uh, Bill Marriott, waiting for a meeting to begin, and we were just sitting there chatting about uh, family and cars, uh, things we love. And I said, oh, by the way, congratulations on this very nice award that you're going to be receiving from the Montgomery County Chamber in early December. And uh, by the way, I, I'm honored. I've been asked to introduce you. And so, Bill, what do you want me to say? And he uh, looked at me and said, here's what I want you to say. I want you to stand up and say, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bill Marriott, and then sit down. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> well, I'm going to be brief. Uh, but uh, Bill deserves a, uh, a little more expansive introduction than just that. I was on the phone with his younger brother Richard the other day and I uh, thinking about this introduction and I said, Dick, what's the first thing that pops in your mind when you think about your brother? And without any hesitation, he said, balance. He said, I've never met anyone who does as good a job of balancing his life as Bill does. He balances his life in his business, in his faith, and in his family. In business, you certainly are aware of, his, of, of Bill's wonderful and remarkable career. He was literally born into the business, started literally working in the kitchen as a busboy, and worked his way up to the boardroom at the Marriott Corporation. In 1964, at the age of just 32 years old, he was appointed by his father to be the chairman, or I'm sorry, the president of the Marriott Corporation. And that, I think, will go down as probably the best decision that his father ever made in his very illustrious business career. When Bill took over the Mary Corporation, it was really a restaurant company that had just two hotel properties, both located here in the Washington, D.C. area. And if you look at what Marriott has become, you see that it was Bill who had the vision to transform that restaurant company into the worldwide leader that it is today in hotel and lodging. Today, there are about 3,800 Marriott hotels around the world, including the one that we're, stand, we're sitting in here tonight. They hold about 600,000 hotel rooms, and they are staffed by about 300,000 people. That is a remarkable record of success and growth over a 50-year period. Over those 50 years, they've provided wonderful service to their customers, fabulous financial returns to their investors, and Marriott has long been recognized as one of the best places to work. And the one common element through these fa this 50 years of remarkable growth and success has been the presence and the vision and the leadership and the just plain hard work of Bill Marriott. When it comes to faith, Bill is a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, commonly known as the Mormon Church. And what you don't know, the, uh, what you may not know, the Mormon Church has no paid ministry. And so it's all done, all the service is done by local lay leaders. And Bill has been, has, has, for the last several decades, has had significant leadership roles both locally, regionally, and nationally. And what that means is that on top of his already very busy schedule, he, would, he has spent anywhere from 5 to 20 hours per week organizing and directing and managing and training and teaching and counseling and comforting and consoling thousands of people who are members of that church. I, for one, am a member of that church, and I have been benefited greatly by his unselfish leadership. When it comes to family, uh, Bill was, uh, he has been, he was a devoted son to his two wonderful parents. Uh, his brother Dick told me that they have never had a crossword since their teenage years. Uh, and then he very quickly added that when they did fight as teenagers, Dick was the one who usually started it. <laughs> Bill and his lovely wife, Donna, who is also here with us tonight, uh, have been married for 57 years. <laughs> and I'm sure that Bill would say that she has been as much a part of his success as anything else. They have four wonderful children, Debbie Harrison, who many of you know through her activities in the chamber, uh, sons Stephen and John and David, and uh, Bill and Donna are the grandparents of 15 children, all wonderful, fun, great kids, and seven great-grandchildren. I don't think that there are any more grandchildren coming, but I'm sure that there are many more grandchildren on the way. Uh, their son, Stephen, I was talking to him a couple of years ago, and he made a comment to me. He said that... Uh, 
My dad wasn't always around when I was growing up, but he was always there whenever we needed him to be. A wonderful tribute. Uh, Bill loves cars. He has a world-class car collection that he loves to share and show. Uh, he has traveled the world, as you could imagine, uh, running a worldwide hotel company. But I think if he were asked, if you were pressed him as to uh, his favorite place on earth, it's a little spot on the shore of Lake Winnipesaukee, just outside of Wolfboro, New Hampshire, where he has been going and spending his summer vacations for 70 years. And it truly is a beautiful place. Uh, just last week, the Washington Business Journal printed a list of the 100 most influential business leaders in the Washington area. And uh, Bill was, of course, on that list. I think if the question had been different, if it had been who, over the last 50 years, has had the greatest impact on the business landscape in the Washington, D.C. area, I would submit to you that there is one name at the top of that list, and it is the person who we recognize tonight as the 2012 Montgomery County Chamber Business Leader Emeritus, Mr. Bill Marriott. Thank you, Bri. You don't follow directions very well. <laughs> and thank you for that warm welcome. I'm deeply honored by this tremendous honor. And thank you to this award selection committee and Gigi Godwin for your faith in me and in our company. Our daughter Debbie proudly sits on the Montgomery County Chamber Board, and I'm pleased that she's working with Gigi and the Chamber. Our story began, as was said, in 1927, when my mom and dad got on a Model T Ford. An hour after they'd been married in Salt Lake City, mom was 19. She just graduated from the University of Utah the day before. And it took them 11 days to drive to Washington, D.C. They got here, they opened a nine-stool A&W root beer stand. They went through the summer, everybody drank ice-cold root beer, when the weather got cold, people stopped drinking ice cold root beer. So to stay in business, they put chili, hot tamales, hamburgers, and hot dogs on their menu and called their little place a hot shop. And uh, during that summer, my mother was so f afraid that they were gonna go broke that she looked around Washington and wanted to see the sights. So she went sightseeing. And she told me before she died that in 1927, the East Room of the White House was open every Monday from 12 to 1. Anybody who cared to could go in and shake hands with the president. Small town Washington. She went in, I said, what did he say? She said, Calvin Coolidge said, how do you do? Passed me on to the next person. <laughs> Silent cow. I was growing up as a boy in Washington, D.C., and the people across the street would leave every Friday and come back on Sunday. Their car would leave clean, their car would come back covered with mud, they would come back covered with mud, and finally I had the courage to ask them, where do you go on the weekends? We go to way, way out of town in Northern Maryland. I said, where do you go? Rockville. <laughs> <laughs> in 1953, our company moved out of D.C. and came into Montgomery County. And I moved here in 1956 after getting out of the Navy. All of our children grew up here. All four live here now. We have 6,300 married employees working here in Montgomery County. My parents built a great foundation of taking care of people. They really believed if you take good care of your associates and your employees, they'll take good care of the customers and the customers will come back. I've tried very hard to continue to nourish this foundation, providing opportunities for our associates. There are five general managers of Marriott Hotels at our table tonight, 
I went around and asked them all. I totaled up their years. They have 157 years between the five of them. The longest serving is Bob Daly, the general manager of this place, 43 years with Marriott. <laughs> All but one started as hourly workers, and 50% of our general managers around the world started as hourly workers. I'm grateful for the opportunity that my parents provided me, and I also have had an opportunity to help others grow and care for their families and their careers. I'm very proud to call Bethesda and Montgomery County home. I love this place in spite of the high taxes. Thank you very much. <laughs>